Good morning. This is a short screencast about how to use categories uncomplicated and category breadcrumbs with Shopify's new translation app. So Translate and Adapt was introduced by Shopify a couple of months ago. You can install it from the App Store page and when you do, uh, it's a free install and it looks a little bit like this. By going into Manage, I can set up additional languages. So I've added in French here. And if I then click uh, Translate, open up Translate and Adapt, it will show me the localized content for French and I can use the auto translate feature or custom translations to create for my site a whole load of translations. These translations work on lots of different objects, collections, products, and so on. One of the things they work on is navigation and that's really important for Categories Uncomplicated and Category Breadcrumbs. Here I have a site in English. Um, it's a very basic site. You can see that I've just set up to demonstrate categories uncomplicated. Here you can see the breadcrumb. Um, equally, I could go into a collection page and you'd be able to see on that collection page the breadcrumb and the subcategory icons. These are, of course, clickable that take me into those categories. Right. So at the moment, this is all in English and I've translated the content so that it is now also in French. I've hit the auto translate and it produced the translations in a couple of minutes. Um, the next thing for me to do is to allow the translations to be visible in the front end of the store. And for that, I'm going to use uh, the, the language selector that's built into the theme. Now, my theme is Dawn. Uh, I'm just going to update Dawn to the latest version because having the most updated version of the theme is really important. Some of the features I'm showing are very new in Shopify. And so it's always good having the latest version of your 2.0 theme. These features, um, Shopify is always changing things and uh, it's uh, just coming up to the beginning of 2024 here. So uh, if you're seeing things that are looking slightly different in this interface, Shopify is always moving things forward. And one of the things that I do as the person who makes the app is to try to do my best to adapt to what's going on in Shopify so that um, the app remains uh, consistent, remains pr producing hopefully a great experience for you and your customers. Okay, if I now go into customize this latest version of Dawn, the Dawn theme, which is published on my site, I can select this header. And here in the settings on the header, I can enable the language selector. So I tick that box and English appears. Now, as it happens, I've got a few too many menu items and you know these are things that I could sort out, but um, that's not the purpose of this screencast. I'm not trying to demonstrate how to build a beautiful store, only to build a highly functioning store. Um, this is, uh, uh, has enabled this selector. The selector allows me to choose between English and French. Uh, I've saved that now. So when I go onto the front end of my store and refresh, that language selector appears here. Equally, because I've put those translations in, I can now flick between English and French, and I'd like to, to encourage you to watch what happens to the URL. When I move to French, a, uh, and I'll just close that, uh, when I move to French, you can see that a little token, a country code, has been inserted into the URL. There are two different sets of URLs now for my store. There is the English version, which has no country code and looks exactly as it did before, and then there is the French version that has a country code. On the French version, you'll notice that all those entities I talked about have been translated. The collection names have been translated, the products have been translated, and crucially, the navigation has been translated. Now, if you remember in Categories Uncomplicated or Category Breadcrumbs, it's the navigation that's used to build your category hierarchy. So it's that navigation that when translated, also gets translated for the icons in Categories Uncomplicated and the breadcrumbs in Category Breadcrumbs. If I move through the site now, you'll be able to see that it keeps that country code in the URL. So I'm carrying on through the French version of the site. These breadcrumbs are being built up as I go deeper and deeper through my categories to the point where I get to a product and it shows the product in its breadcrumb. And I can look at different, you know, different routes to that product and, and so on. But each of these things allows me to show my customers a richer, more focused view of my store for them. And I can always flick backwards and forwards between English and French. So I hope that's been helpful. Uh, if you have any questions about this, please go to the App Store page and click Get Support. Uh, and thanks very much for watching.